نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Lesson 20 In this lesson we will learn الفعل The verb الفعل is someone doing an action Al-fi'al is someone doing an action. For example, hitting, helping, sitting, making, breaking, all these type of verbs. In this few lessons, we will be learning al-fi'al in madi, past tense verb. And the past tense verb al-fi'al in madi is the action which is done in the past. Any action which is done in the past is al-fi'al in madi. Past tense verb. One more thing to remember that in Arabic morphology, which is called surf, there's a pattern, wasn't, and that pattern makes it much easier to understand and learn the Arabic language. If you understand and learn that pattern, the language becomes very easy. For example, fa'ala, this is fa'ala madi. Past tense verb. It is three letters. Remember, most of the past tense verbs has three letters. Fa'ala. He did. Fa'ala meaning he did. And the pattern or the wasn't is fa'ala. Fa'ala all fatha all zabr. Fa'ala. And this is third person. Fa'ala, he did, is third person. Third person is the one about whom you are speaking. And that is called aghaib in Arabic. Again, third person is the one about whom you are speaking. And it is called aghaib. Third person is called aghaib. Remember this. And fa'ala, he did. The subject he is already in the verb. Fa'ala does not mean just did. Fa'ala did. No. Fa'ala he did. So the he subject is already in the verb. Fa'ala meaning he did. So this is the pattern. Let's see other verbs on this pattern. Zahaba he went. Zahaba does not just mean went. Zahaba meaning he went. The he subject is already in this verb. Zahaba he went. Dakhala he entered. Dakhala does not mean just entered. Dakhala he entered. Daraba he hit. Daraba he hit. Nasara he helped. Nasara he helped. Jalasa he sat. Jalasa he sat. And there's one more famous pattern or wasn't, which is fa'ila. One was fa'ala, this is fa'ila. These two are very common. Fa'ala and fa'ila. So this is fa'ila. The ain kalima or the middle letter has kasra or zir. Fa'ila. And the previous pattern or wasn't was fa'ala. This is fa'ila. Fa'ila. Let's see other verbs on this pattern. Shariba. He drank. Shariba. He drank. Sami'a. He heard or he listened. Sami'a. He heard or he listened. Alima. He knew. Alima. He knew or he came to know. Shahida. He witnessed. Shahida, he witnessed. Let's see these verbs in the sentences. Zahaba ila al-masjid. He went to the masjid. Zahaba ila al-masjid. He went to the masjid. Zahaba ila al-masjid min baytihi. He went to the masjid from his house. Zahaba ila al-masjid. He went to the masjid. Zahaba, he went. Ila to Al-Masjid is the Masjid. 
min baytihi from his house. Min is from baytihi his house. Min baytihi from his house. Zahaba ila al-masjidi min baytihi. He went to the masjid from his house. Jalasa ala al-kursi. He sat on the chair. Jalasa ala al-kursi. He sat on the chair. Jalasa ala al-kursi amam al-masjid. He sat on the chair in front of the masjid. Jalasa ala al-kursi. He sat on the chair. Jalasa. He sat ala on al-kursi the chair. Amam al-masjid in front of the masjid. Amam in front al-masjid the masjid. Jalasa ala al-kursi amam al-masjid. He sat on a chair in front of the masjid. Sharib al-ma. He drank the water. Sharib al-ma. He drank the water. Sharib al-ma min al-nahar. He drank the water from the river. شرب الماء. He drank the water. شرب. He drank الماء. The water. من النهر. From the river. من from النهر. The river. شرب الماء من النهر. He drank the water from the river. شرب الماء من النهر. He drank the water from the river. سمع الأذان. He heard the أذان. سميع الأذان. He heard the أذان. سميع الأذان في دكانه. He heard the أذان in his store. سميع الأذان. He heard the أذان. سميع. He heard the أذان. The أذان. في دكانه in his store. في in دكانه his store. سميع الأذان في دكانه. He heard the adhan in his store. سمي على الأذان في دكانه. He heard the adhan in his store. Let's see some question and answer. I'll be asking you questions and you will be giving the answer. First question: What is al-fi'l madi? A. Past tense verb. B. Present tense verb. C. Future tense verb. And the correct answer is A. Past tense verb. Al fi'l madi is past tense verb. Question number two. What does fa'ala mean? A. He will do. B. He is doing. C. He did. And the correct answer is C. He did. Fa'ala. He did. Question number three. What does shariba mean? A. He will drink. B. He drank. C. He went. And the correct answer is B. He drank. Shariba. He drank. Question number four. What does alima mean? A. He will do. B. He sit. C. He knew. And the correct answer is C. He knew. Or he came to know. Alima. He knew. Question number five. What does Nasara mean? A. She will do. B. He helped. C. He witnessed. And the correct answer is B. He helped. Nasara. He helped. Question number six. Does Doreba mean A. He hit. B. She helped. C. You sat. And the correct answer is A. He hit. Doreba. He hit. Question number seven. Does Shahida mean A. He hit. B. She helped. C. He witnessed. And the correct answer is C. He witnessed. Shahida. He witnessed. Question number eight. ذهب إلى المسجد من بيته. Does it mean 
A. He went to the house from his masjid. B. He went to the masjid from his house. C. He saw the masjid from his house. Zahaba ila al-masjid min baytihi. The correct answer is B. He went to the masjid from his house. Zahaba ila al-masjid min baytihi. He went to the masjid from his house. Question number 9. Shariba al-ma'a min al-nahar. A. He drank the water from the river. B. You drank the water from the river. C. He ate the fish in the river. And the correct answer is A. He drank the water from the river. Sharib al ma'a min al nahar. He drank the water from the river. Question number 10. Jalasa al al kursi amam al masjid. A. He put the chair in the masjid. B. He stood on the chair in front of the masjid. C. He sat on the chair in front of the masjid. Jalasa ala al kursi amam al masjid. The correct answer is C. He sat on the chair in front of the masjid. Jalasa ala al kursi amam al masjid. He sat on the chair in front of the masjid. Question number 11. Samian adhana fi dukanihi. She heard the adhan from the house. B. He heard the adhan in his store. C. You are hearing the adhan from his store. Samia adhana fi dukanihi. The correct answer is B. He heard the adhan in his store. Samia adhana fi dukanihi. He heard the adhan in his store. Question number 12. What is Ghaib? A. First person. B. Second person. C. Third person. And the correct answer is C. Third person. Ghaib is third person. The person about whom you are speaking. Ghaib is third person. Some studying points. Watch this video again. Second, memorize the verbs. Make sure you memorize the verbs. And third, learn the pattern. Learn the wasn. How it is changed fa'ala and fa'ila. And how it comes in the Quran, we will learn in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. And ring the bell for the upcoming videos. Subhana Rabbi Karabil Izzati Amma Yisifun Wa Salamun Ala Al Mursaleen Wa Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Assalamu Alaikum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh